हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल प्लेनेट फॉर टेक एज यू ऑल नो लाइक वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड फ्यू चैनल्स एंड सीरीज फ्यू डेज बैक दैट इज पी एच पी लारावेल पी एच पी एंड लारावेल बिगनर टू मास्टर सो इन द सेम ऑर्डर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सीरीज फॉर पैथन एज वेल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस न्यू सीरीज दैट इज पैथन बिगनर टू मास्टर सो the objective of this series is the same like uh, the previous series so in this series we are just trying to provide you all those resources all those uh, techniques all those setups uh, whatever you need to become a path and developer and uh, you can start uh, your career uh, from the path and it is just from beginner, beginner to master so in this series uh, it is a journey you can say so we are going to provide you some uh, set of episodes in that episode it is my uh, insurety like if you are following all the episode properly and if you are watching and doing practical uh, parallelly so definitely the day will come uh, once this series get uh, completed so you will be able to realize like you becomes to master level so you just started from beginner and now you are in the master stage so this is the changes so what we are going to put inside your career so guys let's start this series and uh, this today this is the first episode so in this episode i am going to show you like how you can set up the python in your in your windows operating system so to do uh, to do this python basic setup first you need some set of uh, tools you can say or editor so those we are going to uh, those i am going to describe you here and uh, once the setup is done so you can start working on the python itself so initially we will go uh, slowly and uh, uh, we will uh, run few small programs and then after once uh, we will uh, you can say we, we, we will uh, go to, we will check the complex program and uh, we will uh, talk about the project and industry requirement so then after we are going to put uh, we are going to solve some uh, real industries pro problem and then after we are going to create one pro we are going to create few projects and we will look like uh, how the python is helpful there so then after uh, the logics and algorithms are coming like the ai and ml artificial intelligence and machine learning so these all things we are going to look in the coming episodes so uh, till that time we keep patient and you uh, keep patience and you have to start this uh, series from the day today itself and this is the episode once so if you have uh, not yet subscribed so don't forget to subscribe because we are going to provide you the awesome set of episodes in this series so the as its name suggests like pattern beginners to master so definitely it is going to uh, move you the next level of the uh, next level in your career you can say so this is what we are planning to give you in this uh, series so let's start this uh, episode so uh, to set up the pattern in, in, in windows you need this three uh, tool at least so guys these tools are nothing but the first thing and uh, that is the python uh, setup you have to install in your uh, operating system or you can say the laptop or even desktop whatever you are using and then after you have to install uh, one editor uh, whatever editor you like but i mostly like and i recommend you guys to use the vs code uh, this is with light one and uh, there are other tools also available few of them are the free and few of them are paid version so you can use those as well but the vs code is mostly uh, recommended for all the kind of development here so vs code i am going to describe you here and then after you have to install uh, one more tool uh, if you want then you can install it but this is not yet recommended so that is nothing but the jupyter so jupyter notebook or library you can say you can uh, if you want you can install it so these three tools i'm going to show you how we can install it how we can set up it so first of all you need to download the python setup so i'm showing you the uh, link from where you can download it and i will mention the link in the in the description of this video itself so you have to go in the google and you have to search uh, python download so it will show you the official site from where you can download it so you can see this is the their official site from there uh, you just need to download the latest version of python uh, you can you have to click here in the download page 
so you can see the latest version of python is here is 3.11.0 so this uh, latest version you have to download i have already downloaded it and i am going to show you the like how we can install it so guys you can see in my screen this python 3.11.0 i have already installed uh, downloaded it now going to install it so simply you have to click on this setup so it will ask you some setup so this uh, this uh, first step is very important guys because it is going to set the environment path to the your uh, term command terminal so this is a uh, you have to make it checked and uh, after this you have to select the customize installation you 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 should not select this uh, install now because it is going to install it to the c drive so it is better and it is recommended as well to install it to your custom uh, drive instead of the c drive uh, just keep c drive only for the windows operating system now let's see after clicking the customize installation it is asking you some details here so that all details you have to keep is as it is then move to the next so it will ask you the location where you have to install it so uh, you have to select uh, whatever location you want and other options you can see that it is showing the install python 3.11 for all the users you have to keep it yes and it is asking for like uh, let's suppose in your windows there are uh, more than uh, uh, two users so more than one user so that time you can use it and uh, suppose uh, it is asking you to download the debugging symbols so no it is not recommended download debug vanries it is not recommended as well so here you have to select the uh, drive where you want to install it so i am going to install it in the d drive so let me select that drive first so in the d drive i am going to create one uh, file uh, you can say uh, python is already there let me no uh, let me have the folder name or else uh, let me create the new uh, folder here python setup this is sufficient now in the python setup folder i am going to install it you can see here or else you can keep it python itself if you want keep it like that so it is going to install this python in the d drive so after this click on the install and you have to wait for a few minutes so it is going to install it for you it's just installing and doing all the setups So guys you can see now it is showing setup was successful means it is installed properly but uh, to have the confirmation you can start the command prompt and you can check it whether it is installed or not correctly so to check that you just need to write py uh, python version you can write it here like that so it will show you the current uh, current version of python which is just install it so we have installed the current version of 3.11.0 so this shows like it is configured properly and let's check like uh, by running the simple command it is working or not so you have to write the py only so it will start you the python uh, terminal toolkit you can say and here you can write a simple uh, command just to print the particular uh, string in the python so we use the print method here hello world it is just for uh, checking like it is working properly or not so you can see it is printing the hello world and you can exit it so uh, you don't need to worry about this uh, set of different commands so because we are going to deal each and every aspect and each we are going to cover each and every topic and which are going to understand like how uh, effectively we can use this uh, python in our programming or how we can make our career uh, strong in the python programming language so this way guys you can see the python install setup is done now i am going to show you the installation of vs code so vs code i have already installed it you don't need uh, you can search in the google as well so go in the uh, chrome browser and you can uh, search for vs code uh, download so it will uh, give you the official website so from there you can download it uh, like uh, here you can see it is showing this way so this is the official site of vs code so from here you can install the windows uh, exe file and you can simply install it once it is installed then after you have to uh, once it is installed then after you have to uh, run two extension 
of this python so let me show you those two extension here so from here you can see there is the extension uh, icon so from here you can install the extension uh, re re uh, required for the python right now i have already installed but i am showing you like what uh, is needed you can see here in this installed section i have this uh, python uh, extension installed here you can see the python you can say p uh, py lands and the python and the python environment manager so these three these three uh, extension you have to install in vs code and after that we have to install the uh, jupyter notebook so this jupyter notebook i am going to use this notebook uh, to demonstrate like uh, uh, to every topic we are going to uh, this jupyter notebook provides an interface to run the command and uh, and uh, to write some note as well together so this uh, simultaneously we can uh, make a note and uh, we can uh, execute the uh, pattern command there so let me show you how we can install it so go in the browser and simply type jupyter notebook so it will uh, redirect you to that particular site so you can see this is the uh, jupyter notebook uh, official site so from there you can see there are a few libraries jupyter lab and uh, jupyter notebook and the uh, well is there but we are going to install the jupyter notebook uh, notebook guys we know like uh, this there are certain uh, package managers every programming language is managing like in php there are artisan command and uh, in other uh, node node.js yes, there is the npm package manager there are composers as well so similar way there is a peep so this peep is nothing but you can say python uh, package manager you can say so by using this peep command we can install whatever uh, library or package we want so peep install and notebook so this way we have to install it uh, peep install notebook and then after we can install the uh, jupyter notebook we can uh, run it like that let me show you so here i am going to install notebook peep install notebook this way so it will install jupyter notebook you can see here it is just installing this once it is installed we can uh, use it with the help of the command uh, jupyter notebook there so this commands uh, set of commands you have to uh, keep handy like because this command we are going to use every day in our all the episodes we are going to use this jupyter notebook so for uh, your comfort and uh, comfort i am going to write the command here this command is nothing but peep install notebook so this command you have to use to install the notebook first time then after you want to use it so you have to run the command jupyter note sorry book so once you will write this command so it will start the jupyter notebook for you so you can see here it is uh, taking few minute time so first time it takes time so you can see here it is installed properly now uh, let me run this notebook here so to uh, run this notebook you need to type jupyter notebook so it will start uh, the notebook in your browser itself so you can see here this is started so one thing you have to notice here uh, like uh, this jupyter notebook get started uh, wherever you have just uh, uh, given the command so you can see here we have passed this command in the d drive directory that is why as you can see here so we have uh, given this command in the d, in d directory that is why it started from there itself and in the first screen it will show you all the files and folder of that particular directory or uh, drive where you have started this notebook then after you can create here some uh, folder if you want let like suppose i am going to create one folder here so for that uh, i can create it uh, so here you can see new uh, file we can create it we can create the folder as well so going to create the one folder uh, that folder name is the untitled you can see here so in this folder i am going to uh, or else i can uh, if you want you can rename it if you want 
otherwise you can create the uh, file there itself so going to create one notebook here python 3 so this notebook i just created here and uh, here i am going to run the python command so this uh, jupyter notebook is going to help us everywhere uh, in all the episodes i'm going to show you the code here let's suppose i have to write some note here this is my first program so as this is a note so i am going to make it like this and after this uh, you have to convert this line to the markdown so let me show you how we can uh, convert this to as a markdown this way after that you have to put control enter so uh, when you will uh, press control enter so this line will get executed now I'm going to add new line here so in this line i'm going to use the python command print hello world so to execute it simply you have to press control and enter now you can see the output is showing here hello world here so this way uh, we are going to use this jupyter notebook in our all the episode guys so i hope you understood these uh, uh, setups and uh, you will do the setup in your uh, laptop or desktop then after uh, we are going to this uh, we are going to start this series uh, in the next episode episode 2 so there I am going to start it from basic we will discuss about the Python what is the feature and why Python needed and what capability Python is having and what kind of application we can create with the help of Python those all we are going to discuss in the episode 2 but for now this much guys and I hope uh, by tomorrow you will be able uh, you will be ready uh, with me uh, to uh, to understand this Python from beginning to master so guys thank you thank you for watching and if you are new to this channel so don't forget to subscribe it and share among with your uh, friends and if possible if you have any question or query so you don't forget to ask in the comment section we will we uh, love to uh, hear something from your side and we will try to reply you as soon as possible there in the comment section as well so thank you guys thank you